Hey everyone, I'm Oloka Dime, and I'm a small content creator and amateur music producer, but most importantly, I'm a gamer. And just like many of you, I've dove headfirst into the exciting adventure that awaits you in Baldur's Gate 3. Also, like many of you, I've been looking for a solution to toggle the loot labels in the game. Now, I know some of you are just going to comment, hey, they have mods, you could just install mods, 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 mods. And I get it, I'm not opposed to fixing the game by modding it, but there are many out there in the gaming community that don't want to or simply can't mod their games. So this video is especially for you. I've included chapters in the video for easier viewing, and without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so obviously the first thing you want to do is you want to boot up your copy of Baldur's Gate 3. Now once the game is up and running and you can see the main menu, you want to go ahead and navigate on down to options. Then head on over to the second menu and click keybinds. And now that we're in the right area, we're going to scroll down until we see show item labels. Once we find show item labels in the secondary keybind spot, which should be empty by default, we're going to click in the box and we're going to hit our keybind that we want to set. Now, I have always pressed left shift. And as far as I know, this is the only button that this works with. So I would suggest using this keybind. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to use this button. Now, this next part is very important when you click apply it will ask if you want to remove the previous bindings you want to click no right here in the middle no this will add a function to left shift instead of replacing the other functions of left shift so left shift will still toggle climbing and splitting stacks and everything else that it still does and that's pretty much it. Now that we've got it set, let's head on in and continue the game. Now using it in the game is very easy. All you have to do is press the left alt button to display the item labels. Just press and release and then press and release the key binding you just set, which in our case is left shift. And if it works, all the labels should still be showing. Now, if it doesn't work, you need to use the nail the key bind in the setup. Go back to your options and set it to left shift and try again. It should work. If this doesn't work, I don't know what to tell you. I don't have any further troubleshooting for you as I've only used the one key bind and I've been able to reproduce this result many times. Also, if you want to toggle the labels off, just press and release the left alt button and they should disappear. For some reason, pressing shift again won't turn them off. So it's almost like a hold instead of a toggle. And there you have it. No more holding a button just to see what is near you and no modifying your game files, possibly corrupting your hard earned save. Now, that being said, if you're like me and you're an absolute loot hoarder, then there's a mod you have to check out titled Highlight Everything, uploaded by the user Salzuth over at Nexus Mods. Adding this, you can see everything that is interactable in the area near you, not just the select stuff that the game will show you in the vanilla version. Now keep in mind, this can be very overwhelming if you're in an area that has a lot of interactable items such as loots, containers, bodies, etc. And as a user of both with and without the mod, I would suggest staying away, but I wanted to throw the option out there for you and I'll leave a link in the description. Now the whole video has been intended mostly for those that don't mod their game, but before I go, I wanted to give a tip just for the modders. Now, if you're a modder, you've probably already stumbled upon what I'm about to tell you. But for those of you that haven't and you do use mods to enhance or even fix your game experience, then you shouldn't be punished for it, which you currently are. You don't earn achievements in the Steam and GOG achievement system if you have mods. But if you use Achievement Enabler 
by Duke the Dropkicker over at Nexus Mods, you can still earn them as you would regularly. I have to say this is a necessity if you are modding your game, unless you just don't care about your achievement progress, I guess. And that's it. Uh, if this video has worked for you, please like the video so it can reach other players and possibly help them out too. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below what else do you like to see. If you like my style and are looking for more videos like this, consider hitting the subscribe button and ringing that notification bell so you never miss an upload. All of these things really help a small channel like mine. Make sure you check out the suggested content. I also live stream over at Twitch every day at 10 p.m. Central Time, and you can find the appropriate link in the description down below. Until next time, I'm Aloka Dime, and I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you.